Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a tool that is available in the WDX platform that allows us to integrate resources, external resources, uh, educational resources like videos, blog posts, tutorials um, into the uh, the content of the um, of the platform. So basically, uh, every video, every tutorial, every blog post, every article that is included in WDX uh, is, uh, can be found in a file called resources um, JSON. So I have here the repository uh, and here the resources. We find this resources JSON file, which as you can see contains a huge list of, uh, a huge list of resources uh, that we have, we recommend um, for the students to watch or read or, or go through. Uh, these can be YouTube videos or uh, tutorials or blog posts. So for example, here is an article. And then most of these are YouTube videos at this point. Now at some point we are going to uh, make this, uh, turn this JSON file into a searchable database. So something that a user of the WDX platform or a student can search through and find relevant uh, resources depending on, on some of the topics that they, they're trying to, to, to learn. Um, these videos or these resources come with um, a list of metadata so as you can see here there is a uh, the type is youtube for this resource the we find the duration the title the date that it was uploaded on youtube um, thumbnail some tags or related keywords uh, and also the language of the video so the, so these are pretty useful uh, once this becomes a searchable database you can type in the some keywords or the language and you can filter out and find some of the uh, most relevant and recommended resources um, all of these resources have been verified they have been reviewed so it's not just links that we added or youtube videos that we added um, into the curriculum uh, we go through them we review them and if they're um, quite useful for um, for students we integrate them uh, into our curriculum and then into this JSON so let's say that we have uh, we want to include a new video into the curriculum uh, a YouTube video so we find a YouTube video let's say one that um, by Kevin Powell that talks about HTML tags so we find the appropriate let's say a uh, part in the curriculum that we want to integrate Let's say we go with, uh, let's say, week two, where we go through HTML, and we want to uh, include this in, in some part of the lectures. Once we have this uh, video uh, integrated into the, uh, the appropriate module, we also want to include it in the resources JSON. And here's the way that you can, uh, we do it. So first of all, we get the YouTube video and we grab we copy the youtube video id so i'm going to copy this video and then i'm going to go um, into my vs code uh, i'm going to open the terminal i'm right here in the wdx repository root directory so the uh, the youtube id is this one and uh, there are two ways. We can either run the appropriate script directly uh, or we can run an npm script, which is basically a shortcut to the to this script. Uh, you can find this uh, npm script in the package JSON, of course. Uh, let me open this up. So we have a bunch of useful scripts. Uh, this one is uh, YouTube info, which basically runs the uh, this script. Um, from the root directory, I can run node tools and then does this help to get some information about what I should uh, put in here. Uh, an option, the option available at this point is this get video info. So I can use get uh, video info. There's a shorter way, of course, and I can paste the video here. The video ID, and I can get uh, all the uh, information about this video uh, in the form of a JSON object. And this is the JSON object that I will include in here. 
Uh, so once I run this command, you will see that uh, at the bottom I can find the message saying that the content has been copied to the clipboard. So right now it's like I selected all this and, and pressed Control C. So if I press Control V, I can paste this anywhere I want. Um, so if I open up a new file and I press Control V, you will see that I have the object for this video. So we have the title, um, kind of like the Slack um, format of this video, uh, the type, the duration, the available tags, the language, uh, the thumbnail URL, and then all this information. So what we want to do is we want to copy this and paste it at the end of the resources station. So right after the last video, you will see uh, that uh, there's a section called resources uh, and it's full of resources. So I will go here and I will just place a comma and I will press control V uh, and I will also format the document uh, and you will see now the resource has been placed at the end of this uh, of this file. Uh, of course, the next thing to do is to commit so I will have to uh, state the file uh, and then commit and push but I will note this uh, because this was just a random uh, YouTube video that I found um, out there so I'm going to revert the changes and hopefully I will get nothing um, being changed here. Now, one thing that's required in order to run this command, to run this tool, um, which of course you can run with uh, either this um, way or you can use the shorthand das i, it's going to give you exactly the same thing, or you can run npm run uh, yt info and then place the YouTube ID and you'll get the same output and copy and paste it in the resources JSON. Uh, a prerequisite for this script in order to run and get the information is that you need to have um, in the repo uh, there is a dot um, let me find it um, it's uh, it's here in inside the tools directory there's a dot env sample file so basically this is a file that you should rename to .inv so you should rename from .inv.sample to .inv I have already done this so that's a copy I didn't rename the file but I, I just copied the .inv.sample you can also do that uh, I copy this I rename that file to uh, .inv and I replace this with my YouTube API key. This is required in order for the YTGA script to run. It uses the YouTube API. It's a free API key that you can uh, you can grab from um, YouTube, and then uh, through this API key you can run some um, useful YouTube commands and use the API key to get, for example, information about uh, a YouTube video. Once you have your key, you paste it here. Of course, this should be renamed to .inv, and then you uh, you can run the uh, uh, the YTJS tool. Now, um, in order to get your YouTube or create your YouTube API key, you have to go to the Google Cloud Console, um, uh, and through your account, you can find your API keys. Um, and then, for example, in here, I can I can click Show Key, and I can copy the key, and I can paste it uh, right there. This is a YouTube. Uh, Data API version 3 key that I created. If you don't already have this, uh, you can create one and then use that. Um, paste it in here, and then you can uh, you can use like the tool. Um, so that's about this um, useful script that enable us um, to gather resources um, in a specific like format and enter them in the resources JSON. This one is just for the YouTube videos. For other uh, types of resources we have um, other ways of integrating, integrating them. Uh, that's it. Um, thank you for watching.